Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, and it's about time for the PlayStation 5 port of the game. If you guys don't believe, you can quickly hit settings. That's not what I wanted, that was credits. We go to options, we go to controls, and you can see that we have the PlayStation 5 set up. All the buttons are on there, that's all set up. You can see the UI has been changed from its typical black and colored to the gray and white that is there. So, we are all set up. We are going to be starting a brand new, fresh game uh, for today. Normally, I would uh, have already checked out the game on my regular account. However, unfortunately, um, I've had some technical difficulties. Uh, there's going to be a patch coming out like today or tomorrow that's going to open that possibility up to be able to get the PlayStation 4 back to think. Oh, okay, hold on. Turn that up. How's that? Is that a bit better? Is that a little bit better? Let me know if that's better. Is that a little bit better? Hopefully that's, uh... Hopefully that's better. Yeah, I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see everyone. Alright. Uh, game a little loud. Yep. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Hopefully. More? More? Okay. More. Wow. More. More! Is that better? That's better. That's good. Okay, good enough. Ah! There's a delay. Bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Alright, there we go. Okay, so is that better or is that too much? Because I can turn it back up a little bit. Okay, so obviously that's that's off, right? That's just off for you guys, right? There you go. Nope, stop doing that. Wow. Really? Okay, we have have some technical difficulties. Just give me a second. You guys shouldn't be able to hear anything now, right? Hey, Just Shooter, donated $2. Also, I gotta get the Dark Paladins donations. That's not off. Still hear the music? What? How? How could you still hear the music? There is, like... Unless... Wait a second. Sneaky dog. I see what's going on. How's that? How's that? Is that better? And Nick Joseph donated to yes, I definitely saw. It. Do not worry. Just let me get this. Um, let me just get this set up. We're having some technical difficulties. So we are trying something different. Hold on. Now we can't hear the... <laughs> uh, my goodness, we'll get it! We'll get it! We'll get it! <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we're good there. Perfecto. Perfect. Better. Way better. There. 
Nice, perfect. Okay, it's good. Bingo. Okay, it seems like it seems like everybody is saying that that, that that's good. Okay, we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing something a little different today. Um, we are gonna be we're streaming on the Elgato 4K Mark II. All right, I'll turn up just a little bit more, just a little bit more. There, there. So, uh, let me do the intro again. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian guy here, and we are back with Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time for the PlayStation 5. Like I had mentioned, if you guys don't believe it's PlayStation 5 and just the PlayStation, just the PlayStation 4 version, but ported, you can see the controller and you can see the actual settings is set through the dual sense. So, uh, give me a minute of fish getting set up here, uh, cause we had a bunch of technical difficulties. I deeply apolo apologize. Uh, give me a second. People are actually reporting now that there is the new update. Hold on. Check for update. Update the latest version. Check for update. Hmm. Maybe I have to do it later. Remember, it's probably gonna take a little bit. Okay, give me one second and we will get started. And also, we got our Twitch working again! Yay! <laughs> we got our Twitch back and running. I know some people love uh, being over on Twitch. I also know that some people love clipping certain things for a certain channel. Very specifically. Why is this still not doing what I want it to do? Technology, why does thou hate me so? Why, why does technology hate me? I use it every day and it hates me. All right. And then we got to get to the donations and then we will begin. I am sorry for such a mess for the 10 minute delay. Yeah. Because we are doing something a bit different. And I'm actually going to be, when I'm playing, I'm going to be looking over here now. And the reason why I'm going to be looking over here is because this is my 4K monitor. Said no, and I can't look at here because there's a delay. <laughs> so, a delay with crash is no bueno. Don't worry, I'll be getting to the donations real quick. Uh, create post, and then we will start. Paste, image, select that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, computer! Why? There we go. Post. Okay. So finally, finally, I can talk a little bit here. Okay. Thank you so much to, of course, uh, what, wait, what just happened to everything? What just happened to all the donations? They just went out. Okay. You know what? We're just going to have to use this for donations. Okay. So first off, Right at the start of the stream, we had an amazing donation from Nick Joseph. Why is it not here? What happened to it? What happened to all my alerts? Man, I hate when this happens. Is it just up? It's literally catching me up on all the donations that apparently I missed. It... I love technical difficulties. I love them so much. They're so awesome. Okay. So you're going to hear the alerts go off a few times because apparently, yep, there we go. It's catching, it's, it's catching me up on donations that I missed, I guess. What? It, <laughs> my thing is all goofy now. Okay. So. First off, thank you so much to Nick Joseph. Thank you so much, Nick Joseph, for the $20 super chat. Hey, CG, I know we still have an hour before you go live, but here's a little something to start to uh, start off good today. I hope you're doing better than last week. I was so concerned for you. Let's have some fun tonight. Thank you so much, Nick Joseph. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to quickly um, put those alerts maybe on a delay. Let me, let me get the game started for you guys, and then I'll read the donations afterwards. Hold on. Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. And now, the final blow! Hush, simpleton. Face it, Entropy. It's going to fail. Again! At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. I literally just saved this. Why is it not doing it now? Is he dead? Leave him. He served his purpose. <laughs> Why is this doing this? A great power has awoken. Crash? I fear it portends an event of reality shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, Still not listening to go. me. Crash. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have my sound volume set to zero and it still won't stop. It won't stop! <laughs> uh, okay. I think we're coming close to the end, I think. Because I'm remembering these donations now. Okay, so. I apologize to those who donated. We had. We literally had Dark Paladin donate $100 twice! Saying. Infiltration 2, and then it was supposed to be $200, but Laptop said no, so we went on my phone instead. Here's the other. Thank you so much! So, if you guys can see here... Look how smooth this is. Just... It won't stop! It's... It should be almost done! Why is it still going? Hold on. Why is it still going? Goodness gracious me. Donations are turned off. Unless I gotta do that? Hold on. Did that fix it? No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't fix it. All right, so, oh my gosh. I'm trying, okay. Why are you not turning off? I can't, I'm trying to get it to stop. Hide on stream. Can, can you, can, 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 can it stop? Can it stop? No? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Stop! <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry. It'll be done soon. It'll be done soon. It's just repeating donations from last week. So, Dark Paladin, thank you so much for the $200 uh, super chat. Followed by Just Shooter donating $2. You like jazz? Thank you so much. Um, uh, Divey donated 20 Mexican dollars. Greetings from Mexico. Greetings from Canada. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Followed by Flame Man, who donated $5 to Super Chat. I wonder what Centaur Laura sounds like when she sings, CG. What did you create? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you so much to Shadow uh, NDMDM for the $3. Yo, uh, have a thingy. 
uh, a thingamajiggy, and I'm still working hard in the shadows. Well, I can't wait to see the result. And then Jared Fuentes donated $2 to Super Chat. Hey, so you love your content and videos. Thank you so much. So we're trying to get this all fixed. I apologize. But take a look on Sombrero. <laughs> Group four. There we go. Hey, thank you so much, Neil Lightning Gaming, for the dollar thirty-six. Thank you so much, man. Can this just stop the alerts? It'll be done soon. I, 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 I hope. But guys, just like I just want to take a moment here for you guys to kind of take a look here because uh, you guys know this game through and through. It's not like you know I have to blitz it, but just take a look at just like. And see how buttery smooth the game is. Like, just take it in for a second. There we go. It's a cool Easter egg. Yeah, of course the spir the spiral floaty is a great Easter egg. There we go. Right, and there's details that like you can see before, but they're a lot more clear. You can see the sloth. He's just sitting there. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Exos Columba. Thank you so much. How's the haptics? So the haptics, to be honest, um, is not great right now. Right, hand on over here. Okay, I think we're coming to the end. I know I've said it before, but all right. But just take like take a look at all this. There we go. Oh, okay, there's a Nick Joseph super chat. We should have like five more super chats, and then we're out of purgatory. There it is. There's the dark paladin uh, monstrous super chats. So the thing is, is that, yeah, that, that is also true that you guys are seeing the game in, uh, 1080p. You guys are not seeing it exactly in 4k, but it, you're still going to see the quality of difference is still going to be much higher. It's still going to be really pretty for you guys, but just look how, how just smooth it, everything is. This. And areas that had like frame rate drops, like where we're about to, there used to be a lot of frame rate drops coming up in a second. And it was right here. And no frame rate drops, too. Look at the particle effects from Insanity Peak. The PlayStation 5 version. Is just absolutely fantastic. Right? It is buttery smooth. This will be out for everybody tomorrow. I was able to get my hands on it a day early. Nope. There it is. Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna miss the triple Aku. And take a look at all the. Also, so, um, to give you guys an idea of the haptic feedback, it's very, like, subtle. Uh, it's not as, like, great as, like, um, other games, obviously. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about it, though, is, like, when, like, there's thunder. You can feel the direction of where the thunder is coming from. Uh, there is no haptic feedback for when you jump on boxes, which is kind of disappointing, to be honest. I'm gonna be uh, okay. So I think we're good. I think we're out of donation alert purgatory. Okay. Now I'm gonna fix it quickly, put it back, and then we should be fine. Should be 
don't know why I did that. Once in a while, Streamlabs does that where it just decides to be like, you know what? I just want to sh remind everybody of every single donation you had in the past two weeks all at once. Hope you like it. Brrr. It's a haha donations go brrr. So, yeah. Um, the loading is also like a snap. You'll see it in a bit. So let's keep going. <laughs> Getting a nice wide shot of insanity peak here. It's like I said, I'm taking my time with this a little bit because the thing is that you guys know know this game, right? I'm still gonna like go through it. I'm not going to, like, not, you know, you know, I'm not going to stop and analyze every single thing. But I am going to, like, stop once in a while for you guys to just take a, really take it in. Because, like I said, you guys have likely played the game already, or at least have seen uh, me play it, at least. Or at least some of you have, if you're new. Hi! Uh, but, yeah. So, there's no physical k k kind of not yes, but also no. Uh, there kind of is a physical version. Um, it's still the PlayStation 4 version that then downloads a patch. Oh, talking to Lou Stuttered, man, talking to the guy was awesome. He's funny. Um, what you guys heard was almost the entire conversation that I had with him. Except for, like, the start, like, very start, just to kind of make sure that everything was all sorted out and ready to go. That was basically it. And we talked a little bit about the state of play. Hey, Shinru61, donate $3 to Streamlabs. Evening, CG. I know you're playing on the PS5, but how's Crash 4 on Switch? I was thinking about picking up a late birthday gift for myself or Monster Hunter Rise. I don't know. Uh, you got 106% yet? Are you going to be doing it again? LOL. So, uh, no, I'm, I almost got the 106%, but we're not going to be doing it again. Um, because I'm going to be able to transfer my save file over when... Uh, when I get the chance and I'll be able to continue my streams from there. But I just kind of wanted to do an introductory stream for you guys to kind of see what the cutscenes were like. Um, I don't see much improvement in the cutscenes. The cutscenes, I believe, are pre-rendered. Um, and I have played it on the Switch. I do have it on Switch, in fact, just to show you guys. All right. I have it on Switch as well. I'm going to be doing a video recording, hopefully tomorrow, to give more of an example. To give people an example of what it looks like, both docked and undocked. That's the important thing. It's not just docked, undocked as well. And I do have the piece of tech to be able to do that, I believe. I have to still test it out. Today's been a chaos of a day because I got the codes today. So, the Viperian donated $3 to Streamlabs. <laughs> Donations go brrr. Yeah, basically. Thank you so much, Viperian. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? How do the adaptive triggers feel? Regular. Um, the adaptive triggers only factor into, I think, Dingo Dial and Tana. Um, this game wasn't... Uh, do you see how fast that loading was? What would you say, CG, if someone donated $100? I would ask if they were Dark Paladin <laughs> or Trev. Uh, no, I'm just joking. I would be sincerely grateful. Um, I love the supporters of the channel. And, you know, I... I'm blessed to be able to have them, truly blessed to be able to have supporters like you guys, supporters, viewers, everybody. It's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I also want to make a mention here and make a note here that this is version, check for updates, see if my update has come through. No, it has not because I live in Canada. It takes a little bit to get here. I remember with CTR, it took like half an hour. Uh, this is version 1.000. This is version 1. Version 1. And point zero zero one, But this is, for all intents and purposes, version 1. Uh, there is absolutely no day 1 patch applied to this as of yet. So there's going to be... Uh, there might be minor bugs that we'll see. I don't know. I have only been able to play to the Salty Wharf. Because, as I said, I just got this at, like, noon today. So... Hey, Cocky donated a dollar sixty-three through Streamlabs. Gotta even out that bar early today. It seems. It seems like Cocky. Thank you so much for the dollar sixty-three and evening out that bar. Hey, Gammy, how's it going? 
How's it going today? By the way, Twitch, uh, we got Twitch back, as I said. Twitch is back, live and ready to go. I'm happy to happy to be able to do that. I had to pay, I had to pay $150 to um, uh, Streamlabs to be able to do it for the year. So there we go. I'm happy that now uh, Twitch users can hang out and chill. So it was free before, and then like now nah, you gotta pay for it now. I was like, what do you mean I gotta pay for it? Because there's a third-party program I did. It was called Restream.io, right? So the Restream.io allowed me to be able to do that, but then they blocked that. Are Toys for Bob doing Crash 5? I have no idea. I have no clue. I hope I hope that somebody's doing Crash 5. I hope someone's doing Spiral 4. Um, I hope someone's doing CTR. I hope the thing that this is just the beginning of Crash coming back. What do I plan on streaming tomorrow? So, if you guys want, I can stream the Switch version tomorrow. Um, it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. Also, you guys let me know if uh, my audio is clean and sound because I know I'm sitting a little bit weird. So you guys let me know if um, if I'm sounding off or whatever and I can adjust. I know I'm kind of sitting off to the, the weird side here, but it is what it is, you know? Uh, yes, Kagi. I, I thought I, I did bring it back up. Did it not come back up? I put it back up. I almost certainly did. Uh, so we start. Hey, Speed Free Drive donated $5 to Super Chat. Hey, the feelings mutual CG. We appreciate you for being such a wonderful creator to us. Aw, thank you, Speedy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I also intend to be making a, hopefully, a, uh, a differences video. You know, like video, like, you know, aspects of, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 that's been ch Oh no! My insanely perfect relic! No! I mistimed it! My insanely perfect! Hopefully that- Yeah, I did collect it, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. And... But in-game cutscenes are improved. Take a look at this cutscene. Oh, mwah, it's beautiful. Just pay attention to it. <laughs> look at the textures. Just look at Crash here. Look at the fur. I love doing that at the start because he moves so quick afterwards. Like, oh no! So there's a rate of speed that he keeps up with, like a minimum rate of speed. So like, if you're if you're breaking that minimum, he'll speed up to. Because when I do this, pay attention, he'll go faster. So watch. I'm just running like normal. See how slow he's going. Now watch what happens when I start doing this. When I start doing the little uh. You'll be able to really tell the difference from here. Watch this. See how much faster he travels? Because there's a minimum range that he has to maintain with. Hey, Orange Lightning donated $5 to Streamlabs. Thank you so much. Know you've been having a stressful time lately. Here's hoping that we can help relieve it a little bit. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I have been having a really stressful time. Still hasn't been resolved yet, unfortunately. But, um... I now have been able to adjust to the situation. I still can't talk about it yet. Um, until I know. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know if, uh, set up. Um... Are the polar levels fixed? Uh, I don't know. To my knowledge, they are. Yes, to my knowledge. You think that's the masking monster? No. No, that is the guardian. Hey, thank you so much, CPU Kindheart, for the 10 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Crash, who is that? Lonnie Loli? 
If the quantum mast has returned, then... Open. Hey, Aku, how's it going? Is that a quantum rift? It appears to be a door between dimensions. Yes, yes, this is the kind we keep shut. We have to go through, find my siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Hey! <laughs> Thank you so much, Ronald the Cowboy Coyote. Give me one second, I'll respond to it after the cutscene. And over all of time and space will be within our grasp. Engine, Embryo, you had some little projects you wanted to tell me about? Master, my mechanical marvel will hypnotize you and I. And my yes. torture will make me and them unstoppable. Right, yeah, fine, sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. Ah. Hasten your steps. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us. And we will prevail. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Vermin. So, yes, so uh, I've been hearing some people um, asking about the bare bone skins. Do not worry, we're about to actually switch over to them. Just so you guys can get a nice idea. No, it's not only fixed for next gen to my knowledge. No, it's just fixed overall. And then we got, so we got Father Clucker, Totally Tubular, Marsupius Erectus, Serious Upgrade, 360 no scope. Hey! David, AJ donated 10 Mexican dollars to Super Chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But if you guys re remember, 360 no scope was supposed to be the last one. The reason why is because we now have a new skin set called Bare Bones. It is the, as you can see, Crash has a cracks through the skull, scars. It is the X-ray of what Crash looks like. And don't worry, there's more. Of course, Big Horn Energy, Totally Tubular, Marsupius Erectus, Serious Upgrade, 360 No Scope, and Bare Bones. Coco's got cracks in her skull, too. So, there are two Bare Bones skins, and we're going to see them both in action in a real grind. Let's go. Now, what I'm hoping is that if... Look... You see how fast that was lo that loaded? It was like boom. It's like four, like four or five seconds. <laughs> so we need the other masks to close the rifts. Correct. Now my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show. Behold, the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. Uh, a backstage class for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. I'm ready to run it. So thank you so much again, um, Ronald the Cowboy Coyote, for the two dollars super uh, stream uh, super chat. My, the question is, is what are my thoughts on that vegan teacher? I think that she is not a very good human being. I did a big rant about this uh, last stream. I did a very big rant about it. Um, if you don't know her, basically she is this person on TikTok that basically bullies people into being vegan and uh, not a very nice uh, human being, to be honest. Um, so, I don't like her at all. I think that she is very not good. She mis uh, gives misinformation. It's not great. It's not great. So, hey, thank you. Hold on a second. Why are my donations all bloody screwed up? There it is. A bit better. Playman donated $5 super chat. You see Square Enix's digital event uh, announcement happening next Thursday. No, I did not. 
No, I did not. Um, I did not. But that should be interesting. Maybe we'll hear more about Final Fantasy VII. Can you update for the patch? Not. Uh, you should be able to have it available, hopefully by tomorrow, by midnight. I think. For some people, you know, I got mine early, so. And some people they're reporting theirs a little bit earlier. Others are. Um, there we go. Did I miss that? I seriously missed that. Great. Come on. There we go. Okay. There it is. It's gonna be here. Whoop whoop. Boy. And it's raining. And it's thundering. Why are you thundering? It's the first thunderstorm of 2021. Ooh, I'm here there actually. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I kind of stepped off the side. Oh, uh, I forgot. For those who are hearing impaired, let me get the subtitles on for you guys. Sorry. That also kind of includes me too, so I don't know why I. Oh, I have it. On, I had it on for uh, doing the recording for the cinematics, but uh, I forgot to turn it on. I do have a uh, hearing loss slash damage, so most things I need to have subtitles on, and I have um, an auditory delay problem, where sometimes someone will say something, I'll say what as if I didn't hear them, and they'll go to re-explain it, and then I'll, my brain like lets me know what they said. It's like, oh wait, no, no yeah, I'm, yeah, okay, yeah, and it sucks because I I ask a lot of people to repeat themselves, and it's an, I, I I find it annoying. I find it annoying, as in, I, that I'm annoying people that I keep, you know, it, it, it can drive my wife bad. Hey, Jim C donated $10 through Streamlabs. Thank you so much. I'm happy that a lot of great games got PS4 remasters, especially The Last of Us, my favorite game of all time, and of course, Crash and Spyro. But I do think remasters are starting to overcrowd the market. How do you think PS5 should approach remasters? So I like this idea. So I thank you so much for the $10. I very much enjoy, I think we are starting to get crowded with remasters that are starting to feel a little bit, um, I feel like we're starting to get a lot of remasters in the wrong way. So I feel like games like Val for Bikini Bottom. These are games that shouldn't necessarily, not that they shouldn't be remastered, but like they're taking up the place of the bigger games and they're just recycled games, right? That's what they are. And that's okay to have them, but some games don't hold the legendary status that other games do. Like, for example, Val for Bikini Bottom. It didn't execute as well as the original did. The, in my opinion, at least, and according to many other people's opinion, and also one of the speedrunners for the game was man, man. I watched him on stream. He was uh, the shit. It was a shift. The guy that they brought on to be the guy, like the speedrunner guy. He was talking mad trash about the game. And it was kind of sad. So, I do think that remasters are starting to get very popular again, but I think that they should be directed a certain way. Um, so, for example, so for example, um, I, I think that uh, the Demon Souls remake is that that's how it should be. Right? These games that are like the big, big remakes of legendary titles. There's, I remember I was having a conversation with, um, specifically, I remember I was having a conversation with Genesis. And, um, uh, THQ was, there was rumors of THQ remastering more of their previous content. Uh, THQ Nordic. And to be honest, 
no, like, the Destroy All Humans remake was one that came out of the blue. Um, that was one that was kind of like, okay, a bit of a cult classic. But sure. I love new IPs, but what I also think that we need to see is sequels for games that are long lost. And I feel like sequels for, like, Sly Cooper, right? I feel like that there, Sly Cooper should get the Crash Bandicoot 4 treatment, where you get the new Sly Cooper game, you get the original Sly Cooper game, followed by a brand new game. Let me say this. Let me clarify this. Let me clarify this. I don't think a remaster should happen if there's not going to be a future in the franchise. If you don't plan as either a pulse check to see if people want to buy it, like Medieval, or if people, or you're remaking it and knowing that it's the last hurrah, don't do it. I don't think that that is... I missed the box of the last checkpoint. Where? Right? I feel like that you should get remakes and remasters for games that the, what was it the box was it the box under the bus? Did I really miss that one? Oh man. Yeah, I did I did miss that one. Alright, we're just gonna restart the level then. But remasters should come if there is a plan for the future of the franchise. Alright. So Demon Souls, yes, there is a future in Demon Souls. There is a future. Um Yo! Sonic Blade 64 just donated fifty five zero fifty dollars through Streamlabs. One year ago on March 18th, my dad passed away, and I would like to thank you, CG, for all the happiness you gave me with your streams. I won't be with you uh, a little bit with my mom on the 18th, but please take this money as gratitude for helping me through this year. Oh. Sonic Blade. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um I I'm happy that I was able to entertain you through that dark time. It just it sucks that there had to be a dark time. Thank you so much for your support for the past year and then some. Thank you so much for your love. I hope to continue to do this for you and for everyone watching to be able to entertain, to be able for you guys to have a good time and for you guys to escape from whatever it is that's bothering you on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, I'm sorry to hear that. All my love to you. And um, I hope that on the 18th, you can remember him fondly and that uh, to relish in the memories that you have. So thank you so much, but I am sorry and my sympathies go out to you. If you're not going to continue the franchise, so there's no reason uh, for not having a new CTR. I agree. I think that a new CTR should definitely come. Um, I think CTR... CTR is arguably, by objective fact, okay, by objective, not necessarily subjective, between the Crash and Spyro remakes, CTR was the most successful out of all of them in a critic sales objective manner. CTR was. In terms of, like, like reviews, in terms of reviews, um... In terms of reviews, CTR had the highest Metacritic score ever out of all the remakes by like either a point or two over Spyro. Hey, thank you so much, Flaney Man, for being on the eight uh, eight month streak on being subscribed over on Twitch. Thank you so much, Cookie Thank you so much for the support, Flaney. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But anyway, um.
So CTR being sorry, I lost my train of thought. So CTR being the best remake in terms of objective fact. Um, and that was done by Beanox, right? Now Crash Four has scored higher than CTR, but it's not a remake, it's a brand new game. CTR also won an award, a game award. So I think that it would be silly to not make another CTR. I think it would be absolutely hilarious and dumb to not make another CTR. I think business-wise, CTR did way better than anybody ever thought. And I'm, and I'm sure even the developers were shocked by it too. I'm, I'm sure the developers were excited and knew that uh, these developers were excited and knew that it was going to be special, but I don't even think Thomas Wilson or anybody on the CTR team would going to expect the success that CTR had. Uh, CTR was an overwhelming success, so for them to not make future CTR content doesn't make sense to me. Cool if like Wumpa League was like the name of like the racing team. I'm not sure. I have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. I am sorry. I will be right back.
back. Sorry, ladies and gents. And you know what? I gotta quickly. My phone's at two percent. Um. Let me quickly just throw this on the charge. I'm sorry. I'll be a lot faster this time. I promise. And I got something cool to show you guys. something cool to show you guys so I had gotten something explosive to show you guys so I received a package that uh, hmm. I received a package in the mail. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you so much, Space Screen Trap, for the $5 super chat. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Dee. Here is a little donation for thee. So, as you can see, we got a TNT crate box that I got in the mail today, which was pretty, uh, pretty cool. And inside is, what could it be? What could it be? <gasps> Nothing! No, I'm kidding. So uh, inside is a QR code. It says, Unleash Crash. Uh, I'm going to be making a post about this uh, tomorrow. But um, in it is a cute little uh, AR reality crash on the run little video, which is really, really cute. But it also came with two little figurines. And it came with... Coco and Crash. So just cute little figurines got from King. Thank you so much, King, if you're watching. Really appreciate that. Boop. And boop. There we go. And yeah, so got a nice uh, little uh, TNT crate. I love the TNT crate. I'm going to put that in my background uh, when we get the chance. Okay, enough stalling. Let's get back to it. Sorry about the delays. Uh, <laughs> just kind of dealing with a, a situation. Boink. Hey! Kirkham Art donated $5 through uh, Streamlabs. Check out my concept art I tagged in Twitter based on your Spiral 4 idea. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh! Oh! What a... Oh, okay. So, I had this idea for um, there being different warlocks. I had this idea of there being, like, different warlocks for Spyro. And, oh, that is so cool. Okay, okay. I, mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. I like that. I kind of, I'm digging, like, the earth elemental aspect there. I'm digging the ice aspect here. Hmm, 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 hmm. I like this. I like this a lot. That's really cool. Can we see it? Are you guys... Can you guys not see it? Thought you guys could see it. Yeah, there it is right there. It's right there. So, yeah, no, I think that that's, uh, that's really cool. I like that idea. I love the idea of them different elements and different Ripto. Mm hmm. Mm, good job. Thank you so much for the $5 and lovely art based off of uh, the idea that uh, I had for the different uh, warlocks that Ripto came from. 
that's really awesome. Thank you so much for creating those and tagging me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're fantastic. Thank you so much. No, let's not forget. And, act, and Ripto's a short and pathetic one. Absolutely. That's the point. Oh, the tires. Boom. Or as dope it is. It really is dope. Kablooey! Oh, I can't wait to get to the salty wharf so you guys can see it. It looks really nice. Oh, yes, I did. I did see it, actually. I did see it, and it looks very nice. I just opened my water bill and electric bill at the same time. Deals say I was shocked. It works on multiple levels. And I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lazzy. It's so funny. Thank you. Might have to steal that one for later. There we go. Rocket head! <laughs> it's so disturbing with the mouth open. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see if that patch is in. Check for update. Please version. No, it's not, but okay. Rocket hand. <laughs> I love the skin. The skin is so cool. Should I go with the uh, for Crash Compactor? Let's go with the Skeletal Coco. We gotta go give its time to shine. Boo doo 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 doo. -doo. I just got Crash Four for the Nintendo Switch. Awesome. I don't understand why no ponytail. Why no ponytail? Like, why have the top tough and not the ponytail? Thank 
go. Oh, oh no, come on. No! I'll lose the insanely perfect. I want to get the six jump so I can get Rocket Head Coco. Guys, take a look at this level. Just look at it. The sand blowing in the wind, the 60 frames. The sheer just beauty of this game is just phenomenal. Jim C donated five dollars through Super Chat. Thank you to Streamlabs. Sorry, thank you so much. Thanks for answering my remaster question, CG. If you had to pick, what's your definitive way to play Crash and Spiral trilogies? NCTR originals or remasters? So I would say you gotta depend on each version of the game. So again, thank you so much for the support. For Crash Insane, I would say Crash Bandicoot 1 is definitely really good as is. I feel like the additions to it, Crash Bandicoot 1 Insane. Um, and then Crash Warped is up in the air. I think the original Crash 2 is a little better. Just a little bit. Um, for Spyro, um, I would say Spyro Reignited on PC. One and two is the definitive way to play. Spyro three versus original Spyro three versus Spyro um, three reignited. You see, that's a tough one because there are so many good aspects about Spyro three reignited, but. There's also a lot of wrong with Spyro 3. And ultimately, I think the biggest issue with Spyro 3 is definitely the difficulty. Oh, come on! Uh, it is 100% a cakewalk uh, because of the fact that the, uh, the difficulty aspect was not taken into account. The fact that there was that uh, shifting difficulty depending on how many deaths you had and how you completed what you were doing. So, I think that Sp the original Spyro 3 is better than Reignited. However, Spyro 1 and 2 Reignited, those are the definitive way to play the game, especially Spyro 1. Especially Spyro 1. Uh, Spyro 2 could be argued and debated, uh, but for Spyro 3, I think the original is a little bit better. Um... Crash Insane, Crash 1 I think was better um, on Insane. Crash 2 I think was better on the original. Crash 3 is up to debate. Um, both were really good. Um, and then uh, for CTR, I'd definitely say Nitro Field is the definitive way to play. You know, going back and playing, I, I went back and played, I made a video actually where I went back and I played the original CTR. And while it's still good, CTR's mechanics I find are just supremely better. Is there some annoying aspects to CTR? Yeah. Like the, the hitboxes and stuff, that is annoying. But that's one thing of many other things that it approves of. Uh, and not just graphically, either, right? They took, they're like, okay, this is how the game feels on PlayStation 1. Now, how can we make this feel like it's on modern consoles? And then they, so it does feel like CTR like, if you played the original, you'd be able to pick this one up, no problem. But... Okay, I messed up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. That was close. But yeah, so... That, hey, Super Button Mash, thank you so much for the raid! How's it going? Ew, how's it going? 
Uh, stream's going okay. We had some technical di difficulties right at the start, but you know, what's a stream without technical difficulties? What? If everything goes right, nothing, then, you know, if everything goes right, then there's something wrong. We're trying a little bit of a new way of recording today. As you can see, I'm looking off to here because I'm looking at my third monitor here. Monitor one, two, and three. Usually I'm looking at monitor two, but um, I can't experience it that way because I'm currently trying to play the game through my Elgato for Mark II 4K. So, I've seen some YouTube videos. Love your work. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I've been trying to... Uh, I've been trying to, you know, change my content a little bit recently. Just a, just a little bit. Nothing too, like, drastic. Don't worry. Like, I may have done the goof up again. Let's see if I can sell the jet. Come on. Come on. I don't... There we go. Salvage. Safe for goodness. But yeah, no, I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to increase my evergreen content, so content that will last forever. <laughs> nice ball, not forever, but not a lot longer. Hence the 10 spiral facts you didn't know. Um, I'm bringing back Triple R. I'm going to be still having theory videos, don't worry, but I think I'm going to have theory videos that are going to be much more along questions that people are actually asking. Like, for example, one question I'm always asked almost once per week is do I think and do I like the idea of there being a Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon crossover game? So, you know, you know, people saying, hey, you know, could we get a Crash and Spyro crossover? What do you think? And, you know, I've always been hemming and hawing on it, and I finally kind of sat down and just blurted out my thoughts and feelings about it and crafted it into a script. I was supposed to get that done today and send it off to, uh, send it off to, uh, my, the new, the second editor, the new editor, uh, Lord of the Dragon, but, uh, I encountered some issues today, um, that caused me to not do that. Um, I was given the review code, not, not even review code, I was given my code today, a day early, so it was, um, you know, I kind of had to switch my priorities a little bit, which is something you have to do a lot when you're doing YouTubing, is, uh, you have this, I, uh, uh, you have this idea for, you know, a schedule, and then something happens, and all of it just goes up a little bit, and that happens, it happens a lot, actually. You'll literally be about to click upload onto a video and then something happens and then you just gotta store that video in the And it can get annoying. Yeah, I do a lot of rumor videos and the thing is is that right now, like in terms of rumors, I could sit down and oh come on, you gotta be kidding me. Where did I miss it? I just lost it. One of those two. Where did I miss the box? I just do that? I did. I do a lot of rumor videos, and I do like doing the rumor videos, but recently there hasn't been too many rumors. There's been theories, but not so much in terms of rumors. However, there is actually, um, uh, I'm distracted now, because I know that I kind of goofed up. Um, there is something that is kind of working and developing that literally just kind of dropped, and it's something very small, but then when it's woven through just it's hard to explain right now i'll explain when um hopefully either next week or the following now that i know that i missed the one box i'm just like ah forget it but i still want to get that one box just in case that was the box that i missed Can I just stop doing that? <laughs> hey, Benjamin, how's it going, my dude? 
I think if I can channel back when Reading I was announced, Spiral was my favorite game from when I was a kid. Yes, stay with me. It was Spiral, Pokemon, and Crash Bandicoot for me. Those were the three childhood hits. I've thought about talking more about Pokemon on the channel. I just, I don't know. I feel like the, it's just like, I feel like the, the Pokemon fan base looking from the outside and looking at the fan base is sometimes it's very, very negative. You know? Like when the Diamond and Pearl remakes were announced, people were reading about that. When the Arceus game was announced, people were freaking out about that. And so it's kind of just like, wait, do I want to do this? Yeah, just, maybe this will help a little bit. This might help a little bit. Okay. Bit of a weird angle, I know, but you get to see a new aspect of my room. With leftovers. <laughs> that I forgot to put away because I was gonna rush to the together. What's that? Changing it up for today. You get to see the, uh, whoa, the perspective. I know, right? So cool and different. And let's hit. Oh, we just did. Uh, let's go back to the skins. Let's go with Rocket Head. And then Marcel Peace Rides. Well, hit the road. Let's go. Out. New seats are still good. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Metal drums go burr. And it's like, oh, well, we have to restart. I don't, the thing is, is that there is a lot of negativity in, there is negativity in the Crash Bandicoot fan base, and sometimes it is definitely overwhelming, but, um, to be honest, like, to be honest, there are other fan bases that are a lot more angry, a lot more hard to please. And, you know, we always, you know, there's always jokes online about how the Crash fan base can be, you know. But if we're going to be real here, some of these communities, there are just so massive. And for some reason, the outspoken online presence about it is just so full of anger. And I don't And I don't understand. I don't understand. I really don't. It really does baffle me. It baffles me that people act like this. Right? It 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 confuses me. It's like why? Why are we like this? Why do people complain and hate the things that they love and hope to see it fail? You know? I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, right? And so it's really killed a lot of my thought process of making Pokemon videos because I feel like that it's such, like the, the Pokemon fan base is huge, right? It's very, very big and very intimidating. And in terms of like the online crash community, it's been growing. 
so I feel like I joined while it has, it's always been big, but it's, you know, really started to make a, a modern kickback nowadays because of the remakes and stuff. And I feel like Crash Bandicoot and Spire the Dragon are on a precipice of being able to become these big AAA platformers that we see uh, every few years. So, Blink. and the funny thing about it too is that a lot of these people that are complaining about like Diamond and Pearl and stuff like that, they're going to be lining up day one to pick the games up and spending their money on it. So. I don't know why people do that, you know? People are impatient. Yeah, people are impatient. People are very angry, quick to judge, or quick to anger, quick to judge. Um, they're very um, inconsistent, I would say. I think that's a big one. And that's something that drives me nuts. That is something that is, I wouldn't say a pet peeve, but it, like, it makes me angry when, also, um, Goal post shifting. Oh my gosh. Okay. There is a bit of, sometimes a bit of that in the Crash Bandicoot families. Oh my gosh. So, for example, um, people are like, oh, I'm not going to pick up Crash Bandicoot 4 because uh, Insane Trilogy. Hey, Tony's World, $25 to Streamlabs. Thank you so much. Some coffee money for the CGE. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I always enjoy the coffee money. So, like, there are people that are like, okay, and you know what? Fair. People are like, I don't want to pick up Crash Bandicoot 4 because it's too expensive. Crash Insane was 40 bucks. I feel like that, you know, I feel like Crash 4 should have been 40 bucks as well. Okay, fine. Fine. Then the new game comes out and it's 40 bucks. Right? Or there's a big sale and the game drops down to 40 bucks. Yeah, but you see, it's not 4K 60 on my base PlayStation 1, so, or PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation 1, on my PlayStation 4, so, yeah, I'm gonna wait for the, I don't want that, but I'm gonna wait for the Switch version. Okay, so the Switch version comes out. It's like, it's not 1080p 30, so it's trash and I'm not gonna pick it up. It's like, listen, if you don't want to pick the game up, just say that you don't want to pick the game up, right? Just don't, just... Like, say, hey, I'm not interested in playing this game. Done. That's it. That's all you need to say. But you get these goalposts shifting. That's like, yeah, I'll pick it up when this happens. Thing happens. Yeah, I'll pick it up when this happens. All right. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll pick it up for this. All right. But and it's like, go, people go on and on and on and on about this. It's like, man, just say you're not going to pick up the game. Right? It, like, oh, And then they complain about the game over and over and over again, and they haven't even played it, right? But that's, like, the internet in general. That is, a, that is the, the internet in general, though, is that the internet is a place for people to be able to freely express their ideas under a username, no matter what, and stay hidden and revealed, right? Man, I wish that I could, like, go outside more today because, man, it was such a beautiful day. It was so nice. Sabotage! So, already, we can see the one adjustment on the camera. Take a look, like I mentioned in the video, take a look at how you can see more of the top of the Doom Ring. If you were to go back and look at original footage of this level, you would see that you could not see much of the top of Doom Rig. Doom Rig was either cutting out of frame or just barely in frame. Now, it's clearly big and it's open. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video hopefully trying to find all the big differences. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them because, I mean, it's going to be hard to kind of look back now. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if maybe we got the... Uh, Let's take a look to see if uh, that thing is in. Come on, check for update. It's not the latest version. I can promise you it's not. 
It's probably gonna come tomorrow. Probably. Here. Beep beep. Beep beep. Pipe, 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 pipe. Come on. Boom. Green gem. Thank you so much. Moving on. So do you make this to box one? If it doesn't, it's okay. I, I know. I, the next checkpoint is home, so if I, I would throw myself off. Let's try again. Because I'm about to get the bright now skin, which I like. I do like bright now. I think it's really cool. Hey, Lil Gabo donated two pounds through Super Chat. Give me one second to finish this track area, and then I will make sure to read the Super Chat as well. Now, hopefully I haven't missed anybody's Super Chats tonight because it's been absolute chaos. So... Yeah, we're good. We got it. Cool. Got it! Thank you so much, Super Button Mash. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bit early, but whatever. Happy Crash Day. Happy Crash Day. Thank you so much for the two pounds. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so. Do -do -do -do. Hey, $20 from Speedy Springtrap. Thank you so much for the $20 Super Chat donation. Um, all right, I'm headed to bed. I try so hard to stay up, but I just can't. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful night. Also, if anything big happens, please, people who are on the CG Discord, ping me the timestamp so I can watch it later. Aw. Thank you so much for the $20, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. As always, deeply appreciated. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shadow Gamer. I appreciate that. All right. Time to do stage dive. Now, I want you guys to pay attention here. Look how fast that loaded. That was just insane. No pun intended. Um, all right, all you pay attention to this boss fight. Put your freaky little hands together for and tell me if you feel like it's, if it's different. So pay attention to this this fight, okay? I don't know. It's hard to tell at the beginning. But you guys let me know if it feels like it's different because I feel like that it's easier. I don't know. I don't know if it's easier. Like if the difficulty's been adjusted. What's the matter? Can you guys tell me if it seems like anything is different? I I noticed it on the next stage. That's where I really started to notice. It's like, hmm, maybe I'm just going insane, which is entirely possible. Over analyzing so many things. But I feel like though it takes longer for these guys to come out. So it's like it's harder, but it's also like more times. Like these little creatures coming out. These little creatures coming out, it takes longer. So that's the trade-off. Where the fight is longer, it's easier, but um, it takes a lot longer for these little, uh, you know, little metal heads to come out, or I guess rocket heads. The show yes, the show must go on. Back to Cortex. So, okay, see, so there we go. Now we're waiting. Usually, sometimes the little character will come out right away. 
sometimes it takes a little bit. And now it's like it's being more properly timed. Like, okay, there's a, like, there's a solid... Sometimes it would come out almost immediately. And sometimes you'd be able to choose this boss fight really quickly. And then up. It does seem longer for sure. Yeah. No, the health bar is the same. But it feels like... Especially this part. This part seems a lot easier. Now again, I might be wrong. It's just an observation that I've made. Oh, crap. Hey, little Gabo, thank you so much for the two pounds of protection. Not gonna lie, your engine voice is so good. <laughs> thank you so much. I like doing engine. Engine is like a combination of like um, it's very much like Igor, but like higher pitched. You know, like Igor life, you know, something like that. But then you just go higher pitched. Yes. So the uh, uh, engine, I would describe it as like combining Igor and Frankenstein together. Yes. Check your cortex. Your plans are so good. But might I ask? Why does it include a rocket in my hand? Oh, that's right. Come on! Uh-oh. I've never had this happen before, so this should be interesting. Okay, so that's actually new for me. That's cool. It never happened to me before, because I didn't keep up that bad. Way it goes. Hey, thank you so much for the two dollars super chat. Give me one second. Let me just do make my bandicoot booty over here. Do, 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 do that. Do this. Do this. Do that. Do this, and go boom. Thank you so much for the two dollars super chat. I appreciate that, Ronald the Cowboy Coyote. Uh, you know the horror stories in the Star Wars fandom? No, I don't. No, I don't. But yeah, that, that, that's how I picture Igor, uh, the engine's voice like it's a combination between Dr. Frankenstein and Igor. <laughs> My beautiful creation, yes. And then, of course, with that, um, um, you would have to add the post processing effects of that, you know, echoey robotic, yes. I also like kind of changing my at mine up a little bit because I like the I love the personality of uh, I absolutely adore the personality of Bloody uh, uh, Engine in um, Mind Over Mutant and um, uh, Crash the Titans. Uh, let's swap. Let's do three sixty. Nah, totally too bad. Yeah, let's go totally too bad. All right, booty calls. Boop -a doop boop -a doop be thankful I'm happy. Yeah, that must now that I think about it, yeah, bouncing off of like engine, engine probably would have died. But engine also has a rocket mounted in his head, so I would think that engine's a survivor. By the way, what do you guys think of this angle? Do you guys like the other angle better, or do you like this angle? Because I might adjust this angle if you guys like it. But I mean, of course, the other angle, you can see more of the Funkos. But this angle, it's different. I don't know. Yeah, tell me. I'm going to be using this angle when I have to use the Mark II. So. Hey! Otaku Radiance 97 donated $20! $20? Are you serious? Hey, CG, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to pop in to say hi and give a little coffee money. That's not a little. That's a lot. That's like four coffees. Maybe more. That's like ten coffees, and you know, for, uh, uh, Timmy's. I love this angle. Okay. 
I like this one. Oh, okay. I'll be looking to like it. What? Yeah, we can stick with this angle if you guys want. You look more relaxed. So I think I got my arm on the table here. You kind of see my messy office. I haven't been able to really clean up. It's been chaos. I'm hoping to get to doing a nice deep clean this weekend. <laughs> I got the flashback tape by knocking the nice. Also, I posted eight minutes today of um, um, uh, I posted today um, eight minutes of the PlayStation Five footage, and I was going to post some of the Switch footage today, but I ran out of time. Might be doing that tomorrow, just for fun. Um, or what I might do is I might do it in portable mode, like what it looks like. I might do the Switch version in, uh, because I want to do mine a little bit different because everyone who's going to be posting gameplay of their Switch version is going to be playing, showing it of their, uh, on their portable mode. So I'm probably going to do portable mode, or on uh, dock mode, because that's usually the only way that people can record, but I have the tools to be able to do, uh, portable and dock mode. So maybe I'll do both to kind of show, like, hey, so what it looks like when you have a dock and run dock, you know? Yeah, I would, I'd like to know too, um, I'd like to know as well, uh, what engine sounds like without the filter. Maybe I'll look it up afterwards. Maybe there's something of like, you know, what song sounds like and then try to adjust my voice to that engine and then slap some effects on it and see what happens. That's a good one. Yeah. I was total grinding on the rope. Just don't ask. Crash Bandicoot. How can uh, Crash Bandicoot ride a polar bear? You know? Did not feel confident with that. Nope, nope, nope. After almost half a year, I just got a phone call saying that my PS5 is for pickup. Pardon me, this bleed. Yay! Finally! Actually, you're uh, the second one of my friends that got a PlayStation 5 this week. Yeah, so Mel the Honeybee, the amazing thumbnail artist of the channel, she got her hands on a PlayStation 5. Um. I'm thinking the scalpers are starting to settle down a little bit. Oh, a keyword little bit, not a significant amount, but enough to be able to force it to finally get the consoles now. So the uh, Lieutenant uh, Lieutenant uh, Quack uh, Quackaloo. Uh, so honestly, so far, I haven't felt too much of the vibration and haptic feedback at all. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Um, apparently the haptic feedback is more with like Tana. So I'm going to be, um, actually we're hitting Tana next. So I'll be able to tell you guys what the haptic feedback feels like for Tana. You'll see my live reaction because when I did the eight minutes, I didn't have enough time to be able to, uh, get there because I, there was a technical difficulty with the code that I got. Um. And yeah, I also got to record next week. I'm going to be giving away because tomorrow I'm picking up um, my three copies of Crash 4. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be trying to record my Crash Bandicoot giveaway video. I might even just release it on the same day as well. Um, um, bit bummed that Switch render resolution are much lower than reported last month. So technically they didn't lie. Technically they didn't lie. But. Um, the language is poor. So they said that they were aiming for 1080p dock. Aiming. Now, 10, 
now and then 720p un you know portable here's the problem with the statement that they made okay they technically were correct when you're standing still and not moving in a they have it coded the target for the game to hit 1080p however it has dynamic resolution so when it detects the game is about to lag it lowers the resolution of the game so when that happens when so that's dynamic resolution so that the frame rate so that the frames don't start dropping right so and what's happened is is that when you're standing still and doing nothing in a very like not very detailed place it will be 1080p Stop. however as soon as you start moving and as soon as you start running around the dynamic resolution kicks in and you start dropping your your resolution starts dipping and dropping and on average the game sits at more like 720p 30 frames on switch Stop and drops to just above 480p, 30 frames, portable. BL Raven Wizard, thank you so much for the 25 bits. Thank you so much. Can you do, what do you, uh, what do you think of this patch? I think it's amazing, Pol uh, Polar is great now. Did you notice they also fixed Shinurgle section uh, music in Crash Landed? I haven't gotten to Crash Landed yet, so I can't comment on it, but I'm sure that they did fix stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that I think is little stuff that's gonna be fixed. Uh, and I'm very happy to see that it, all the stuff is being fixed. Um, all this under the hood stuff being done and adjusted and fixed is all stuff that I love to see. So, I, for some reason, I have not been able to get my save over because I would love to see some of these levels in the 4K beauty, but for some reason, I can't get access to that. If I hit game version, right? So, uh, let's go back. Check for update. See, the game app even installs the latest version. But it's not. It's not, though. Why is it not? How long is the stream going to be? So, the stream's going to be for another um, nine, just a, about two hours. We've got another two hours left. Okay, so we are back to experience Heptic. <laughs> Feedback. Are we ready? Hook, line, and sinker. Come on, Tana. Let's go, girl. I love how they put question marks like, you don't know who this is. Like, yeah, we do know. Whoa, okay. Hold on. I'm pushing down. Okay. That's weird. So I can feel when the rope makes impact. So it's hard for me to push. That when the rope makes impact, it does a jolt. And then when I pull them, it does a bigger jolt. Whole different. It's the uh, adaptive feedback. Is it disc or digital? So technically, this is digital. Technically. Um. Boom.
I still don't understand the people that were freaking out about Thomas' design. I don't know. I like it. And I like the original design too. I like both. I don't think there's anything wrong with either of them. I think they both can coexist nicely. I mean, it's alternate dimension Tana, right? Why not? Who's a pirate? Of all things. A pirate! If you don't like it, that's okay. I just, I don't understand it, personally. There we go. Yeah, I do believe that they do show up in the uh, Ding of Dao segments. Oh, what? What just happened? Okay, that was weird. My groove has been thrown off! So. Off the Emperor's oh, come on! What? It showed up! It's like, oh, you wanna go? Yeah, nope. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. Hey, guy, I've been a fan uh, since the announcement of Reignited. Thank you. Uh, quick question. Will the PS5 version of Crash 4 have the totally tubular skins if you upgrade via the PS4 disc? Yes. Yes. Totally tubular skins are available for all PlayStation users, no matter um, if you have digital or disc. To my knowledge. To my knowledge. Um, I'm... Fairly certain that they also confirmed it. Oh, come on! Restart. Restart. I need those six gems. Dr. Cortex. I'm sorry. You've thrown off the key and screwed. Sorry. I do get a groove when I'm playing these games. Like, when I know the rhythm and flow of the level, I'll get a groove, and everything's great, and then when I mess up, and my groove is thrown off, it's hard for me to get back into it, because it's like, what? Now I have to get the rhythm and flow back. Float like a butterfree, sting like a DJ. There's a shirt that I have. I've always liked. And it's a weird shirt. I know it's random, but it's based off of the saying of what well, like a butterfree thing with like a D-Joke kind of. So I bought this shirt back in high school, and my dad always made fun of me for having it because it was one of my first like weird shirts. So it was and just something charming about it. I don't know, I liked it a lot. It's of this panda. It's a panda with boxing gloves on. And it's missing, you know how pandas have the, the black uh, rings around their eyes? Well, it's only got one black ring, and the one's exposed. So it's as if it's like, it's like a black eye, and it's fighting. And I don't know, I just, I thought it was cool. I always thought it was a neat idea where it's this panda. I might be able to find it. Hold on, I gotta, hold on, let me pull it up quickly. On my camera, look like I'm sur surfing the web. Uh, we're, here it is, yeah. Oh, I just, I've always liked it. 
let me switch it over for you guys so you guys can see. Uh, yeah, so it's literally a panda with boxing gloves, right? And it's miss, and it's got a black eye, like as if it was fighting, and it got a black eye, right? And then like, and then it's I don't know. I've always liked it, and uh, mine is like it's like Heather Gray. It's like no, it's not that. No, it is this, but it's not like white, white. So. But yeah, no, no, I, I really, uh, I really, I really like this. Um, I really like the idea of that, uh, shirt. I think it's really cool. It, it might be weird and dorky, but I like it. Doing no death run in the whole game. Uh, I don't know if I'm that good. Looks cute. Yeah, I like it. I, I, I thought it was, a, I thought it's cool. This is why pandas can't be trusted. <laughs> In order to become a panda, they must get their lights beaten by other pandas permanently. Panda! Hey! Kirk and Mark donated $5 to Streamlabs. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for checking out my concept art. I'll be posting new content soon. Enjoy the donation. Off to bed. It's 225 uh, UK. Oh my damn, 2K. Go to bed. Go to bed. Thank you. Thank you so much for that awesome design. But go to bed. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the $5. And thank you, thank you so much for making that concept art piece. That is amazing. Thank you. I lost my oxygen. And I didn't like it. Gotta go, gotta go fast. Gotta go, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you meant imagine engine doing Sonic quotes? Yes. No, it's no good. Even better. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. What's up? Uh, oh, you know what? I love doing this. Just going, walking up in circles. Boom! Your pose. Nice. Come on. There we go. That's the sound effect of me, right? Todd, didn't, <laughs> Todd forgot to take your medicine this morning. Go fast. Go, gotta go fast. Go fast. <laughs> the boing. Oh, that enhanced shadow has helped me so much. Well, have a good night, uh, guy, uh, <laughs> CG got the upgrade. He's doing good things with it, right? Showing people how the game is. Meanwhile, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> yeah, it was a smart decision to give it to him early. Eyes on target. Huzzah! It looks so smooth, because it, it is smooth. It's like butter. As Lou Stuttered would say, butter. Because it is butter. 
But it's funny because the pre rendered cutscenes are like. Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? 1080p, Tana, I think? You're different. I don't know. You're not I'm from our from universe. universe. <laughs> Bonk. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like die or something? What? No. Nope. No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <laughs> usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Gems? Masks? Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. <laughs> I love the sound effect there, the fact, I already have. All right, let me see something here. Because, like, what in the ever-living heck? Why is it that it's like, okay, I go to downloads, and it's like, why is this not working? Like, why? 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 Why can't I just go to here and be like, hey, yo, diggity dog, can you, like, check for update? And it's like, yeah, I checked the update. Yeah, you're in the latest version. It's like, no, I'm not. I can tell you I'm not. Close game. Closing this game or app. Let's wait. Okay, let's try again. Check for update! There's not the latest version! I'm rattled. Hold on. Power! Reset PS5. Resetting. Yeah, I did see that ton of TikTok um, cosplay. Man. I am so upset that, like, we're not going to conventions this year because I would love... Ghost! How's it going, my dude? How's it going, Ghost? We're just rebooting because I'm getting um, upset because I want I want to, to I want to see the updates and I'm not getting them. It's making me mad. Boom, 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 boom. Sparkles, come on. Ah. It crash brain, it's about time out of the downloads uploads. Oh, is that so? Is that so? Are you telling me that there is an update? Foresight game. What? I did not pick Rayman! Rayman, you're cool, but no. Close. Bye bye. No, no. Notifications. Eight hours ago. Thanks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there, 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 what? 22 gigabytes, 22 gigabytes. Got it. Keep going with what we had. Activision presents 20 gigabyte patches. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Here, we're going to sit for an hour. And just watch a bar fill. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Is it for the 4K? No, because we already are 4K. We already are in the 4K beauty. Is it really like 20 gigabytes worth of changes? Because I mean, the game already looks just amaze balls. Eh, whatever. The artist. Yes, it is the art. 
and I don't have some form of a bias because of a certain facial shape. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure people want to sit and have Q&R for an hour. Boy, <laughs> aw. Bonk. That's right. But because we're playing the PS5, three, two, one. Aw. Okay, more like five seconds. Maybe not five. Or maybe not three. More like five. But you see, before it was like 32 seconds. Those bloody mechanical drives are just so. Ugh. Aw, thank you, Lazzy. Confirm CG is crash. Yep, that's it. It's Crash's nose. That's why I like this skin. Crash's nose. I did that before. I didn't expect Crash to just yeet off the screen. He just yeet. Bye. Also, we're on the third world and I have 62 lives. That's okay, Conky. Well, for the PC port, it's always dependent on your hard drive, right? If you got a crummy hard drive, it's not going to be able to upkeep. But uh, if you got a nice, um, one of them delicious NVMe or SSD drives, you know what? And I just so happen to have an NVMe drive. Oh! Ooh, I can... Yes. I can feel the engine. I can feel my name running through my hands. Yes! Sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> Roger, I'm sure it'll run fine. I'm currently running, uh, for me personally, I'm running right now, uh, I believe I'm running an i7 right now, and I believe I'm running an 8-core i7 with, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, uh, GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah. With, uh, Three hard drives, two mechanical, one engine. Yeah, I dropped on the switch today, yeah. Someone's enjoying that hectic feedback. Oh, Bologna! Bologna! Jeez.
that. Ah. What do you call it? polar bear in the jungle? Lost. <laughs> y you know? You're not wrong. You are not wrong, ghost. No, I'm stuck! No! Okay, we're good. Fine, I was calm the whole time. Totally calm. Totally, completely, and utterly calm. It was nerves of steel. Right, right? Nerves of steel? Right? Right, nerves of steel. Okay, this is gonna be a pain. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. I did it! I did it! <laughs> I did it! I wrote a book about hurricanes and tornadoes. It's only a trap. <laughs> it's only a trap. I get it. I like that. That's funny. I got my degree in skydiving. I had to drop out to graduate. But I, I did not know there was a bomb there. Oh, crash this in better days. I did not realize that there were bombs. There were bombs! That's a throwback to the extreme. Back when I played Hero's Tale, I didn't know that Sergeant Bird had missiles and bombs. I was under the impression that the flightless bird only had missiles. But he also had bombs. And I was trying to eliminate something that required bombs. And the chat decided to not tell me that I had bombs and just watch me suffer as I was awkwardly angling myself downwards and then trying to pull up with trying to hit something that required me to drop down and the missiles wouldn't drop down. And I'm like, man, this game's stupid. You give me a mechanic to be able to figure this out. <laughs> Little did I know that I was the dummy and didn't know that we had bombs. So. That was, uh, interesting and aggravating. And when I found out that I had bombs, it was by me pushing the button the wrong way. And I had a bomb and I realized I had bombs and then I put two and two together and I realized that I just did something beyond clutch. Uh, <laughs> and I realized what had been happening. I was like, I had bombs. Hey, Jamie Flipmo, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hi, CG, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Um, do you think now that Crash 4 is on every platform, we might get some sort of DLC for the game? Uh, in a way, yes, I do. In a way. Um, not, uh, no! My... Restart! Throw this in the trash! Um, yes and no. A, a DLC-ish, but more like, uh... <sighs> A new mode. And I think that's going to be Wumpa League. I do think that. And I do, and I do still think that Wumpa League is still a thing. And um, people are. Um, is this on PS5? Yes. And this is the PS5 version too. This is the day one version too. Not even like the the release version. But it's like pre day one patch. I just got the patch, and it's like 20 gig the same thing last time but i think that it's going to work a la like warzone where you're going to have microtransactions through uh wumpa league it's going to be free to play anyone can play it when you download it it will download the stuff for crash 4 as well and then there's going to be like a quick access thing to be on there like hey if you really like wumpa league 
why don't you come and see what the original game was like and then people click and then purchase the game and because the game files have already been downloaded to the console it will just say here you go game boot up right because when you download Warzone, you're also downloading Call of Duty as well. But it doesn't give you access. Because you have to purchase the game. And when you purchase the game, it's like, okay, here you go. Or it's like a very small patch. I finally found a book that I was totally glued to. It was a fan album. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. There's a dark, cynical joke in there that if I had some time, I could make it, make something out of it, but I'm not going to bother. Look at the, like, all the stuff here, man. Oranges! There's an orange! I didn't realize that until now. There's this half-cut orange. Is Gangplank nearby? Deadly Legends joke. But it's an orange! So I could push square, like a square. Or I could push some triggers and get the feel. Of the engine! Yes! The engine makes the feel of the engines. Away we go! Antennas got married. The ceremony was okay, but the reception was excellent. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one before. It's a good one. I like that. It's okay, just standing on the edge of death, you know. Well, I had Aku Aku and then immediately yeeted him. So that's great. A deck of carbs. Oh, that's so good. Oh yeah, L time to share something with the with you guys. If you don't know and you don't follow me on Twitter, I found something out about myself as to why my guts hate me and as to why everything about me hates me with my body. And I found out that I have, ladies and gentlemen, a yeast, a yeast intolerance. You know, the stuff that makes the bread from Piff to Puff? Yeah, that stuff. Piff to Puff makes my bowels go Piff to... Yeah! So that's why when I went on the carb-free diet, my guts are treating me better. Because 9 times out of 10, if it has carbs, it probably has yeast. So... Yay! No more piff to puff. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Oh no, it's right. I also have a lactose intolerance. Man, I love food. Can't you tell? You can't eat pizza. No, I can't. I also have an allergy to barley, which I thought wasn't that bad. I'm like, it's just barley. What? Barley is just in like healthy cereals and stuff, right? 
Nope. No, no, no. Oh, ho, ho, how naive I am. Barley extract is literally in everything, basically. Heck, it's clean. Hey, heck. Hi. Don't believe everything people tell you. No. Um. I got a blood test done. I had to pay. Okay. So let's. Let's listen to this fun story. So, as you know, healthcare in Canada is free. You know how I'm doing the air quotes of free? We pay it on our taxes, of course. We have a uh, 30% tax. Hey, thank you so much, Dingo Sofana, for subscribing over on Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, as you guys know, I am a Canadian and I pay for my healthcare and my taxes. And it's not exactly free. So, I have been having gut health problems for years. And I mean years. And my doctors always just chalked it up to, eh, you're fine. Just watch what you eat. And I'm like, okay, that would be great if I, you know, my gut didn't have a little gremlin inside me screaming at me every time I eat something that's wrong, that's fine one day and then not fine the next. Right? So, anyway, I've been to two different doctors. So, I'm at my recent doctor, and I'm telling them, like, hey, you know what? My guts are really not feeling great. I really think that I should go get some help. So, they say, okay, we're going to order a bunch of blood tests for you. Hey, the game lover donated eight Australian dollars through Super Chat. Good day, CG. How well, uh, how are you, how are you? You are well also. I broke my TV trying to finish this game. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been banned from playing Crash at my house. Now, I am sorry, the game lover. I am sorry. Thank you so much for the $8. Uh, but I'm very sorry. Oh my gosh. Just went into Starbucks and the barista was wearing a face mask. I asked, why are you wearing a surgical mask? She said, I'm not. It's a coffee filter. Didn't know you said. Oh yeah, I am serious. I am serious. So anyway, um, so I went to my doctor. She said, "Okay, I'm gonna order a bunch of blood tests. I got the celiac disease test. I got the this test, that test, and guess what? Nothing. Nothing showed. Everything came out like, yeah, you're as healthy as a horse. I'm like, yeah, tell my guts that. Tell my guts that sound like it's the the someone summoning the dead with a net uh, on uh you know uh necropolis like." You know, like, my guts are killing me, man. And they're like, you're just probably, you know, lactose intolerant. I'm like, okay, yeah, but I cut milk out of my life and my guts still hate me. So I'm like, can I go see a gastrinologist? Which is a doctor that helps with gut health. No. Why? Because our test came back as fine. Okay, but I'm not fine. What part of I'm not fine don't you understand? What part of my guts hate me for existing, don't you understand? Nah, we'll see you in about... In, next time, we'll see... See you there, Connor. Next, you know, in three months, we'll check again. And I'm like, this sucks, man. This is the second doctor I've gone to, and they've blown me off again. So then, I had to reach out to a naturopath. And they sent me and got me now the problem is with a naturopath that's not covered that ain't covered you have to pay out of pocket for that you have to, you have to pay out of pocket so I paid I had to pay to get a blood test they said we're going to put you on a food sensitivity test and what that's going to do is going to test you against 440 different kinds of foods with all different genetic makeups and those genetic makeups will be associated with other foods so i was like okay that's great so they do the test i had to spend six hundred dollars out of pocket six hundred dollars to get the test that i needed to figure out what was wrong with me six hundred dollars so paid out of pocket for a blood test so they took my blood and a week later i get this printout this big old printout and there it is right there saying you have an allergy not to wheat 
Wheat, you're okay with. You are A-OK -okay with wheat. There's nothing wrong with wheat. Um, but, uh... Oh, sorry. One sec here. Uh, thank you so much, the game lover, for the eight dollars super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for the support. So anyway, yeah, I had, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, all right, fine. So I paid it, and you know, I, I grumbled about. It. I'm not happy about it, but then I, there it is: yeast, bakers and brewers yeast, no good, barley. No good. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, so yeah, I don't have celiac disease because I'm fine with gluten and wheat. Gluten and wheat's not the problem. It's yeast. And I'm like, goodness gravy, me oh my. I'm still salty about it because I had to wait all this time to figure out what was wrong with me. Oh yeah, I'm also lactose intolerant, like pretty badly, uh, to cow's milk, sheep's milk, and goat's milk. But I can tell you the one kind of milk that I am not allergic to. Are you ready for this? I am not allergic to buffalo milk. Yeah, I'm just going to take a stroll down to the local convenience store and, uh, you know, ask for their highest quality buffalo milk. Yeah. Mmm. Buffalo milk. I'm like, oh, goody. I'm so happy that I'm not allergic to buffalo milk. When I encounter that one day, I'll be sure to be able to drink it by the gallon. Because I know, mmm, I ain't allergic to this. Buffalo milk. And no, it's not milk from the state of Buffalo, I wish. I wish it was that simple. No, it's not. Uh, I knew I was going to eat it there. Buffalo milk. Never heard of that before. Yeah, I'm just going to go down and just, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> whiteboards are remarkable. Ah, that's funny. I'm just going to go down to my local convenience store and get a gallon of buffalo milk. Don't worry, it's only $34 a gallon. And I'm like... Sounds like cowboy milk. It sounds like nope milk. Sounds like I'm, sounds like I'm good. I'll just quit milk. Ha! Ah, aha! I've never heard of buffalo milk. Like, I can't make this up. Like, I'm like, okay, maybe sheep's milk and goat's milk. Nope. Nope. Not that. No. 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 No, of course. It's buffalo. Because Canada has access to those. Kano, old dark matter himself. A careful crash. He's heavier than you. Oh, good. You're awake. All right, two masks down, two to go. Is Here's it good or nasty? I wouldn't know. I wasn't a 10 before. Now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. Oh, yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoots. Short and to the point. Love this Love guy. This guy. <laughs> bandicoots. Follow. So, uh, yeah, what about Yak's milk? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Maybe. Wait, did you guys hear that? I, 
I might be insane. Did you guys... Did my phone go off? No, my phone's downstairs. I am almost sure that I heard the cra the the crystal dragon shake sound effect. Like legit, like hold on. Legit, I thought I just heard the crystal dragon shake sound effect. You heard it too, Jacob. Hold on. The last thing I want to do is hear you. Come on. Mute. Next. Well, let me turn up the... Um, is that negative 37? Hold on. Let me turn it up for a second. Hold on a second. Let me see this here. I'm, I'm rewinding the stream a little bit. Hold on. I know that noise anywhere. I see. I wouldn't know. So. Listen. Maybe. Yeah, it, it was there. Maybe. Did you hear that? Maybe. Maybe. One more time. Cranked up. I know. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe. It's there. That is 100% uh, the dragon maybe. shake sound effect. One hundred percent. What was that there before? Was that there before? I was that was that there before? Hold on. I gotta do a quick investigation. Hold on. Uh I have my let's play. And I know I played up to that point. Hold on. Hold on a second. I have my Let's Play. Does it show the stage being revealed? Maybe? Hold on. Hold on. I am so sorry. I gotta get to the bottom of this. I need to know. Because if I don't, it's going to bug me. You know what? I have an idea. I have a really good idea. Hold on. I have my original playthrough like entirely somewhere here. YouTube. I got to know because if it wasn't, if they added that, if that was added. Like if that was added for some reason. That's huge. Legitimately, that is huge. Okay, so it's at the end of part three. Okay. Um. Of the chunk hold on science. So I got my live bit here. You guys can't see it. Uh, no, let's. Uh, okay, go through here. Do some platinum tapes. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Here. Let's take a listen. Very carefully. I'll switch it over too so you guys can see it. Because this might be big. Maybe. If I hear it here too, then it was there originally. Which is still cool. But not as cool. 
as them adding it purposely. So this was when I was reviewing the game. Up this guy. <laughs> Hold on. The old loading screens. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is in the original too. Okay. It is in the original too. Okay. Not as cool. But it's funny that I heard that now. Not as cool, but still cool. It was there before. Just, I had to make sure. Had to make sure. Had to make sure. But it's okay. All right, let's continue. Because otherwise I was about to say like, what? Let's play, give it a spin. Because if they did, like, man, like, man, look out, boom, boom, boom. Brooke save, what does this mean exactly? It doesn't mean anything anymore. Poor Crash's face here. So where's the next mask? Not here. Look how These clean the lines are on our con on Lonnie Lily. Look how clean the lines are. Now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. <laughs> Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to <laughs> Diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> thank you so much. I uh, uh, thank you so much for the joke. Ghost. <laughs> a sandwich walks into a bar. The bartender says, "Sorry, we don't serve food here." Nice. That's that's pretty funny. Now the funny thing is that this is the stage where there's dragons. I wonder. I wonder. If we did a deep investigation of this level. Would. That. Is that worth it? Would that be worth it? Would that be worth it? When his screw has fall backwards in the water because they fell forward, they still be in the boat. <laughs> Funny. Um, I saw David. David said, hey, CG, so last week's stream, what happened? I can't comment on what happened yet. It's a personal family matter right now. Um, something that... Uh, is causing a bit of uh, trauma in my life at this point in time. I can't comment on it because I don't want to get into it yet because it's still a developing situation. Uh, when, when everything's been set in place, I then will explain because the complicate the situation makes things extra complicated too. Um, it's very weird, very awkward. And kind of hard to, and I can't really talk about it. But as soon as I can, I will. What is four wheels and flies? Garbage, a garbage truck flies. That's hilarious. <laughs> I like that. That's not. That's a smart one. What's new in the next-gen update? Uh, amazing graphics. 
3D audio, smooth, buttery smooth 60 frames, um, and some camera angle adjustments. I, but I am going to have to try to compare it to the original as well. I just... Why did I do that? Uh, I'm going to restart this one because I think I can definitely get the insanely perfect on it. But yeah, no, um... I feel like... I really like this level, by the way. I never commented on it before, but... This is just one of those levels that just... It's just awesome. And Coco looks adorable here. Like, come on. Come on. How can you not love this outfit on her? I love the button that her hair goes into. There you go. Oh, it's been a while. What's been up to? Only mostly the same. Mixing potions. I have the buttons off the colors anymore. I mean, they're just following what the controller scheme is, right? There's also uh, new skins. Uh, yes, that is right. There is also new skins. Hey! Thank you so much, uh, David, for the $2 super chat. Are you going to examine more Crash on the Run add-ons next video? Uh, I am going to be covering and talking more about Crash on the Run. Um, I did get in the beta for iOS, which I'm very happy about, which means that I can... I'm going to talk with King to make sure that I can post that stuff. Because I think it's covered by NDA and stuff. Can't install. Why can't it install? You error info. Something went wrong. Okay. Try again, please. Why? What's the problem? Uh, may not have been successful. Duh. Thank you. Update the system software. Okay. Is... Did I miss a system software update? Hold on. Uh, how do we do this? Home. Settings. I'm assuming system. Um, system console information, system software updates, update using internet, please wait, can you have the latest, what in the heck? Is it because I'm playing the game? Is that the problem? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to close it. But it's not the latest version. We know that. We literally are trying to download this. Resume. I don't get it. What? Storage? Okay, so... 
Okay, see, so I have my extended storage there. So I have my regular storage here. I have enough. I have 200 gigabytes that are open. Let me just reboot my PS5. Let me see. Let me give that a reboot. No, it started to download. And then it just, like, stopped for some reason. Like, what in the heck? Heck and heck. Heckity heck. Have a good night, Lazzy. Take two. Can't install. Why? And why do you keep going to Rayman Legends? Stop it. Something went wrong. Try again then. Yeah, I did do a system update. Uh, reset. I literally just did that. Yeah. Resume. Why? Yeah, I just did. Yeah, I just did a PS5 restart. All right, well, I'll have to solve it probably tomorrow. Oh, why? Don't get it. So you have internet connection. That's a good idea. You know what? I wonder. I wonder if that's it. We'll deal with it after. I'll deal with it after. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I know, I gotta go through the area again. For sure. Okay, you're right. So... I just saw the Wi-Fi section pop up and give a like a check mark. Why? I don't understand. It's so weird. Those drills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that one. I remember that joke. How did the dentist become a brain surgeon? His drill slipped. Yep. One, I love that joke. Switch is amazing. It's actually it runs well on Switch. I'm shocked as to that they, they focused on frame rate, which is something I'm happy about. Because the platformers, 
to me, nothing's more jarring than bad frame rate. Poor resolution, I can deal. I can deal with poor resolution. Bad frame rate, especially in a platformer, is rough. Yeah, I remember someone who mentioned earlier. Fun fact, that was Roger Craig Smith. That was the guy that's been voicing Sonic recently and he, who recently walked away. That was originally Maurice LaMarche, I think his name was. Bad with names, especially voice actor names. But Maurice LaMarche was the original one. And uh, Roger Craig Smith just like knocked it out of the park. He did a great job. Hey, Kevin Miller. Uh, I'm from the uh, I'm from the uh, southern southern part of Canada. I'm not in the boonies, we'll say. And hang on, is that the Kevin Miller? But yeah, I try. I try to keep things relatively private because, unfortunately, uh, no. Okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, I try to keep things relatively private because I've had people try to make attempts towards my family and stuff. So I just kind of eh, keep it on the down low. It's just unfortunate that I have to do that, but I have no other choice, you know. Phantom Bonnie. Whoop, whoop. Oh, baloney. That was malarkey. That was a malarkey. <laughs> Happy that you're here, uh, Ghost Drone 98. Okay, so. Oh, oh, oh no. That's not what I wanted. Oh no. Xanderous just donated $5 to Super Chat. Um. Crash of the Run tweeted fan questions about if more playable characters are coming. And they replied, I love Crunch and Tana. If successful, we'll definitely have them. Yeah, I mean, I saw that too, and uh, you know, I'm very happy to see that. You know, you know, I love seeing Crash on the Run being like this really awesome, you know, ode to fans. You know, even characters that people have never heard of before, right? I really like that. Something. One second. Uh, one second. One 
One second. Hey, thank you so much, Sensei Guru, for who gifted a sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sorry, just there's some technical difficulties right now. Of course, it's kind of like the, uh, um, it's kind of been the the theme of the channel today. Don't know what's happening. Sorry, just something was going goofy here. Yeah, it's just man. Oh, of course. Someone was messaging me about a technical difficulty, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Hey! Thank you so much for resubbing! Hey, King Guy, hey, it's been two months already. Also, keep up the good work, man. Thank you so much, Sunset Guru. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, no. Uh, I goofed that one up because I was supposed to bounce back the Econo Blast. Or with Econo. YouTube kind of went ballistic for a second, and uh, something's going goofy, so I gotta see what's going on. Mm, yes! I blew it there for a second. I think this is good. Yes, it is. Got it! Hi, CG Rock. Aw, thank you. Continue. Katie. Do, 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 do. Did I enjoy a conversation with Lou? Absolutely did I enjoy my conversation with Lou. Love talking with Lou. Lou is such a great guy. Dragging on. Let's do it. How many times do you need to fill a bucket with a hole to become full? A whole lot. A whole lot? All right. You know what we're going for. Already wrecked. Already wrecked. Already ruined. Already ruined. Already ruined. Oh, look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down. And really, they're like, forcing us to pick out our own birthday card and sign them. And this. I, 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 
Like, poor Brio, man. I don't have the right body for it. You gotta feel for Brio, man. For his birthday. He had Cortex force him to pick out his own birthday card, pay for it, and then sign it from him. Like, man. But I just want to give Brio a hug. I can't be the only one who's thinking that. Like, come on, you got it, like... Like, you gotta feel bad for him, like... Oh, look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down and humiliate us by forcing us to pick out our own birthday card and sign them to him. I, 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 Like, that is so... <laughs> Depressing! Like, no wonder Brio is bitter! Like, I just want to give Embryo a hug. Like, I know you're an evil scientist, but like... Like... Man... I think Brio could... I think Brio could use a little bit of love. Let him know that, you know, he's appreciated and known and loved. Heck. We're doing it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. But since CG answered, what do you call a bank near a lake? A lake bank. No, I don't get it. Sorry. Oh, look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down and humiliate us by forcing us to take out our own birthday. Mixing drink. Yeah, he's a cocktail. I, 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 he's a uh, bartender. I can't say I see the appeal of all that jumping you do. Perhaps I don't have the right body for it. Yeah. <laughs> Try to contact Activision on that one, Aaron. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure about that one. Try this again. So wouldn't the joke be, what do you call a bank by a river? Just a like riverbank? Right? Why am I hitting the boxes? It's to get the blue gem. It'd be like, what do you call a bank in a blizzard? A snowbank. <laughs> Blue gem, you have to hit no boxes. <laughs> no, not right. That was almost right. Hey, happy to hear that, Aaron. Thank you.
By the way, a massive fan of your videos. Thank you so much. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Hey, Hannah Vincent, how's it going? Don't touch me, Mr. Dragon. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, Mr. Dragon. You doing this again? Yes, I'm doing it again. Why? Because I probably hate myself and I probably need therapy. But that's besides the point! after this is fairly fine. You don't really want to touch the dogs at all. Because if you do, you can... It happened to me. You can knock one into a box. It happens more. It sucks. So your best bet is to just not attack the dogs. In fact, you can try not to hit anything. Because it can spin off into the abyss and then, you know... That's problems later. Here you want to jump, spin, then jump again. Uh, Sometimes I think you're my only friend. And then I realize... No, that's right. <laughs> no! No, stop exploding! No! Despair. Despair. Aha. Yeah. Here we go. Just avoid the big stinky doggos. Or tigers. Chinese tigers. I don't know what they are. They look like doggos. Big angry pup puppers. Yeah. 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 Okay. And. Yeah. Yes. I did break something, but it wasn't a crate. So, that doesn't count. Okay, so I'm gonna turn. Aha! Huzzah! Magnifique! See, boom? Alright, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Ah! Dragon! Don't touch me! Don't touch me there. What's that green stuff that keeps possessing the enemies? Uh, Embryo. <laughs> it's Embryo. Embryo who's absolutely lost his, his bit in the brutal. Ow. Embryo was gone insane. That's why he's possessing everything. With his... No! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got the pseudo checkpoint. It's not that bad. Use 
spin me right round, spin me right round. Wong. 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 Touch me there. <laughs> yeah. Sapphire or -er acquirer. moment here. This game is giving me anxiety just watching it. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Does it feel good? I'll be right back. I just gotta go check in a few things. I gotta go to the bathroom. And I will return. You guys won't be able to see me kick my door down. Oh. Here, uh... There, TNT crate streaming for now. <laughs> Bugging me. <laughs> there.
And we are back. One second. Hey! Thank you so much. We had four donations. That's incredible. Ah. Ah, give me a second here. Woo! Ah. Right. Jacob Johnson donated five dollars to Super Chat. Here's the engine. Let's get the train going. Choo choo! Thank you so much. Conky donated three dollars to Streamlabs. I'm just gonna put this uh, set a more even number. Thank you so much. Uh, Casey Beck donated 461. Love your videos. Can't wait to see more. Thank you so much. Mobius Studio Super Chat two dollars. Just moved to a new office. Crash 4 PS5 looks dope. Thank you so much, Mobius. 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 I am sorry. I forgot to send you the link for you to send me something. I am very sorry. Life has literally been nothing but sheer and utter chaos. I am sorry. I will try after the stream. It, it's just, it's been absolutely chaos and I have not been able to uh, get into anything. So we're not being able to hear for the whole thing. Don't worry, Canadian APX, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go through this level again, except this time, hit all the boxes. Hey, JD King. Okay, good. I know I'm just... I, I can't wait for you guys to know what's going on so that I can explain what's happening. And the reason why it took so long is because more of that personal issue has been developing. There we go. All the boxes. Yes, there is a pretty big difference. It's really nice. And the thing is that you guys are only seeing the down res version. You guys aren't, because going through the, the streaming process, it, you know, it obviously doesn't look great. Um, but if you have a 4K monitor or a 4K display of anything, even on a phone maybe, because um, some of these higher end phones can really display really nice resolutions, you can. Uh, nope, I keep that up. You can really. Really? Like, see how awesome this, this game looks. It's just the colors are out of this world. Um, going a little bit backwards there, Crash. Yes, Sea Salt Shrimp did my intro. She is amazing and awesome. She also did the Triple R intro, which uh, may or may not be seen to come back very soon, hopefully. To let you guys know, I got the first comeback script of Triple R done. It's done. Uh, now... Hey, 
Hey, Mobius Studios Super Chat, ten dollars. Thank you so much. Absolutely no issue, no rush at all, man. Here's my biggest dono for the uh, the channel so far. Thank you so much for the ten dollars, man. Still not a ton, but figured it should celebrate Crash PS5 and new office. Have a blessed night, CG. Thank you so much, Mobius. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, are you referring to me having a new office? This is just a camera angle change, though. New office hasn't been implemented as of yet. It's gonna be a little bit too, but the reason why it's like this is because I'm looking at a different monitor than what I normally do. Woo. Put the big one there. I didn't realize how much Triple R resonated with people. I really didn't realize. I thought that people thought Triple R was okay, and then when I stopped doing it, people immediately were like, "Where's Triple R? Where's Triple R? Where's Triple R?" And I was just like, like I just I didn't expect people to really. I thought that Triple R, you know, people enjoyed it. No, me. Okay, you. Okay, you. All right. Sorry, I thought you were saying that uh, yeah, I had a new office. No, I'm happy to hear that you're in a new office. It's super awesome. Nice! I love moving my office, like getting into a new area, redecorating and getting it all set up. It's just so nice, you know? It's so nice. It's just like, man, this is super awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I love Triple R. You see, I didn't realize that people enjoyed it that much. Just me, or is it fun fighting the Beanox crates? Um, Mobius, that would help significantly. That would help significantly. Thank you so much, so that my bird brain doesn't forget it. Because, man, knowing me, Oh, my switch died. Whoops. <laughs> Knowing me, uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to forget again because not been in the greatest of mental aptitude recently. Especially after today. Anyway, let's go to here. I'm being thrown around like a ping pong ball, ping pong ball. Come on! No! No! See you, Jacob Johnson! Yeah, it's okay. Either one works. Goof that. Have you ever thought about going on tour in Canada or the US, US or maybe both? Hannah, there would be nothing more to love than to be able to go on tour and meet all of you. But I'm serious. Like, that would... When I went to PAX, I got a taste of that. I met a few... Just a few people that recognized me. And it was just... Something amazing. It's just this amazing feeling to be able to... See... You see... <laughs> funny to say because it's like here's the thing is that if you think about it my only feedback is by text that I see on a screen so when I do something good you know people will talk about it sure but like sure people will talk about it 
or they'll comment, right? But there are so many people that watch and they don't comment just because they're so introverted, right? Like, there are 200 people watching right now, and I can promise you there haven't been 200 people commenting, and we had 300 people at one point. The reason why is because, well, they're, you know, they're lurking, and that's okay. You know, I, that's okay because they just want to sit, they want to chill, they don't want to comment, they just want to watch, they just want to vibe, and that's okay. Maybe they're having a bad day, maybe they have a set of bad days. And they're just not in the mood to talk. But they're in the mood to listen. Right? They're in the mood to listen. They're in the mood to watch someone else do something and die, apparently. <laughs> no, they're in the mood to interact, but just, you know, quietly, at a distance. And that's okay! I can almost promise you that there are going to be longtime viewers of this channel who have never commented on anything. You know? That they've never done that. The only thing that they've done is hit subscribe. Maybe even, maybe they haven't even done that. And that's okay. But then when you meet somebody in person, when you meet them in person, and they say, oh my gosh, you know, your live streams, or oh my goodness, your videos were awesome, and oh my goodness, this, that, and the other. Man, it makes me want to downright cry. I'm serious, like... Hey, Roberto, greens from Japan, greens from Canada. And the thing is that it makes you want to downright cry. It really does because, um, and, uh, Katie can be a testament to that. There was a few people that I met at the PAX that recognized me and they wanted a photo and we were hanging out and afterwards I was so giddy. Like, I was like, I was like, I was so giddy because I actually encountered somebody who has been impacted by the content that I've created and because they have been impacted by the content that I've created it it's something that's incredible to me it really is it's something that is incredible to me because it's like you're seeing people act the live reactions of what people uh, it's like a testament of the content that you've made uh give me a second here uh oh dear <laughs> okay so we're gonna go to q and r and you guys are about to be revealed of my coffee addiction <laughs> Maybe you should tidy that up. So, ah, uh, all right. So, we are now ready for a, a continuation of Q&R. Hey, Mobius Studios donated $2 to Super Chat. Thank you so much. Do you prefer countdown center or left side? Uh, I like center. I like center. And, uh, oh, my gosh. You can see, I can see myself in the reflection. This is so surreal. It's so weird. Um, give me one second. All right, Q and R uh, question and rant has begun. Dude, that's a lot of coffee. I know, I know, I know, I know it is. <laughs> Sponsor when I know, right? Sponsor when I, I'm already addicted. Just give me the sponsorship, dang it. <laughs> What's your reaction if Mr. Beast donated? I'm really curious. I would absolutely uh, lose my marbles. Maybe I should stop giving copy money. No. <laughs> um, I would absolutely lose my mind. if I, I would, Not even Mr. Beast donated. If he just stopped by and said hi. You know, there's that coat hanger that my son brought in. It was his best friend for 30 seconds. Uh, what do you think Sparrow 4 will be like? I feel like that they're going to be imp um, implementing a lot of different uh, elements like they did with Crash, but try to keep it to its core. Permission to simp about Aerith in front of you. Permission granted. The MV7. I'm not sure about the MV7. I'm not sure about that. I know Shore is a good brand, but... um. Do your research first because there are some more affordable mics that are not uh, that are not this expensive. 
Thank you for the BNS crate guy. Now I got my favorite uh, new main in CTR. Hey, happy to help. What would you do if you hit 100,000, 100K? I would be over the moon. Over the moon. Um, hey, CG, uh, have you ever thought about doing Canadian Guy highlights where you take the best clips from some of your streams and make funny slash interesting vid? It could go on your gaming channel. Possibly. Um, we, it That stuff takes a lot of work. The problem is, is that a lot of this stuff is... My main problem is I'm at a state where I can't afford to hire somebody full-time to do that. I can have someone do it part-time, but not full-time. Um, I'm at a point where I'm kind of balancing and juggling some things. Um, so I'm trying to juggle the content that I already have now, which is a lot. There's a lot of content I'm doing now between Crash, Spyro, and trying to get another episode up on Canadian Guy Plays. We have it recorded, but uh, we've been encountering issues and problems like I said, there's been a whole bunch of problems. Um, but I need a team to be able to implement these ideas because the thing is I could sit down if, uh, if I could sit down and just like do a day of work of just editing, recording and doing all these ideas and then have someone else put it together. I could do it. I could do these ideas, right? Hey, Canadian guy, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? For me, it would be open portals to other dimensions to meet a bunch of video game characters and anime characters. I'm such a huge dork. No, that'd be pretty cool. Um, it's weird to say, and it's so basic, but the uses of it are immaculate. Um, super strength. I would love to have super strength. I know it's weird, but like... I've always liked the idea of being able... Because if you have super strength, imagine like imagine the life that you could live right i've you know imagine i've always wanted to write a book so um i've always wanted to write a book of the story of 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 a um like a professional fighter who got the ability of super strength but he has to hide it you know so imagine being into a fight and knowing that you could just clock this guy in the next week with one punch through, you know, punch him so hard he goes through the iron gate into the crowd and basically make make him dead. And you have to you have to be convincing enough that you're not superhuman but that you're just super strong. Right? I always thought that those types of ideas were pretty cool. I always liked those uh I'll make sure to I'll make sure to check it out afterwards, uh, shooter. Um, I have a question. Uh, these two evil warlocks—they uh, look like Ripto. So, are the new villains of Spyro series Spyro Four, or are they just the fan made? No, they're just fan made for now. They're just fan made for now. Uh, it's just an idea off of something that I made. Sorry, I just had, had to do something. I think I'm something, Mr. Beast, I think. If you were a dragon, what would be your horde be? Um, I see you already have a horde of pops, so... Dorky memorabilia, that's my horde. I I appreciate that, Hannah. I appreciate that. Flight telling is it? Diamo V, okay. Diamo V is fine. I can just... uh re-render it if I have to in um, Premiere. Mm. 
So I don't have cable television. I don't have cable television, uh, and I barely watch anything, rarely. However, what I do watch, what I did watch, I just finished blitzing WandaVision with my wife. My wife and I, we sat down, and we blitzed WandaVision in one night. We regretted it kind of the next morning, but I really enjoyed WandaVision. It was, um, the beginning was really weird. Uh, it was really weird, but, um, it just got really good. Do crash force safe files transfer from old gen? Yes. Yes, they do. When you get the patch applied, which I'm trying to get taught and I'm trying to get the patch applied and it just doesn't want to work. But yes, it does. That is what is supposed to happen. You would press square at the front and then it would say, okay, install and then pff, you're good. But for some reason, mine wants to be stupid. So. I think you see Vegeta in the background. You probably do. I do have Vegeta. I have Vegeta. I have a number of stuff over there. Ugh, it's all messed up. When you have kids, you're constantly just cleaning up after kids. That's all that you're doing. That's what I feel like all I do is that, like, I get my room clean, I turn around, the kids just messed it all up again. It's like, yeah, great. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah, Luke Cage. I really do. Do I still play Fortnite? No. But isn't Vision dead? Yes. Yes. You have to watch it to figure out what happens. At the moment, no. It's just the skeleton crash skin. Um, a live action series for uh, Fairly Odd Parents. I already hate it. <laughs> I already hate it. Uh... Is happening here. Um. All right, I got a few more minutes, and I have to go. Clean, clean uh, uh, all day, and it's still a mess. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like. Uh, what is your opinion on emulators, like Yuzu Dolphin, and uh, um, and they use this if they don't have the consoles they own. So, I, um. I use emulators. I very much, uh, I very much do enjoy emulators. I love Dolphin. Sorry, I thought I just heard something. Uh, where, uh, but yeah, I do. I do use emulators, and they're awesome. So, um, if you bought the game before, you should like. If you didn't, like, yeah. Whether or not you could use ROMs and stuff when you haven't bought it is kind of all, it's kind of like in the air, you know. It's mm, mm, I'm not sure. Um, what's your opinions on bananas? They're fine. They're good. I'll eat them once in a while. How many pops do you have in total? I lost count. It's just go watch one division. I could geek out about it for hours. Oh yeah. So it takes place after End Game. It's just, just mwah. I love the Wendy's Twitter. It's so good. You know, I can't seem to imagine you without that mustache anymore. A lot of people have been saying that. Where'd you get that spiral canvas? I had it custom ordered. So when Spiral came out, I was sent this from Toys for Bob, the original source file. Not the um not the like the PSD, but like the uh the final export. And then I used that and I custom ordered that. Favorite animal? Lion. Love lions. In fact, my one of my favorite Pokemon is uh, Lit Leo. It's that little lion Pokemon with the little fire tuft on his head. I love it. So MOV, uh, MOV is a weird codec. Are you Pog Legend or Pog Emperor? I'm just Pog me. That's it. What's your favorite shirt? My Toys for Bob shirt. Who are you? And who am I? I don't know. Do you think Crash is going to be in Smash? I hope he is. And I, it all makes sense. Uh, would you like to see Turn to Funko Pops? Crunch Bandicoot would be cool. Uh, Entropy would be cool. Tiny Tiger has already come to a pop. I would love to see... I'd see Coco. I'd see Coco turn into a pop. But the new Coco, like the new Crash. The new Crash and Coco designs. I think that would be really cool. Is that a spiral duck by your pops? Yes, it is a spiral duck. It's a set of spiral ducks. 
Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do have to get going now. I know it's a little bit of a rush, but thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Tomorrow, I'll figure out what we're streaming. We might do Spyro. We might do more Crash 4, but on the Switch, I don't know. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video in our live stream. Time for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2,